So when you're making a self-taped audition, the most important thing to remember is that the focus should always be on your performance. Casting directors will understand that not everyone has their own fancy lighting setup or film studio. So it's perfectly fine to film in any quiet, well-lit location. Make sure you're filming during the day and that you're in a room with naturally bright lighting. You can also achieve great lighting results from filming near an open window. Just make sure not to stand with the window behind you because this will mess with the camera's exposure settings and make you look like a silhouette. It's okay to film on a cheap DSLR camera or even on your phone, but if you do choose to use your phone, it's crucial that you film in landscape mode. If you film in portrait mode, as you would for Snapchat or Instagram, this will cause unnecessary black bars to appear either side of your footage when you show it on a TV screen or laptop. You should also strive for a shot that is as stationary as possible. You can do this by propping your phone up on a flat surface, such as a pile of books. Or to make things easier, you could purchase a miniature tripod with a phone clamp. Something like this is a great asset for low budget filmmaking, and you can pick one up on eBay for around $10. You'll want to frame the camera in a medium close-up of your head and shoulders against a neutral, uncluttered background. Although a director might choose a more fancy, artistic shot for a proper film shoot, this would detract from your performance in an audition situation. Another factor that's just as important as good vision is good sound quality. Your phone's inbuilt microphone will be fine if you're shooting in a quiet room, but if you plan to self-tape often, you could invest in a special clip-on mic for your phone for under $100, which would greatly improve the sound. While you'd probably use a clapperboard to slate your shots on a real film shoot, you don't need to do this for your audition. Once you've hit record, do a quick chat to camera by looking down the lens and stating your name, age range, location, whether you're freelance or the name of your agent, the role you're auditioning for, and any other useful information. Wait a couple of seconds and then begin your performance. For your performance itself, your eyes should be looking slightly to the left or right of the camera, as if you're speaking to another character who is slightly off screen. If your script is a duologue, you can ask a friend to sit beside the camera and read the lines as the other character. You can shoot as many takes as you want, but bear in mind that you're only going to send one uninterrupted take to the casting director. Once you're done, you can upload the footage to a computer and decide which is your favourite take. If you're unfamiliar with editing software, you can use the Trim tool in QuickTime Media Player to efficiently make a new file out of the take of your choice. Upload your file to Google Drive or a similar cloud server and send it off to the casting director. And that's it. Congrats on finishing your first self-tape. And make sure you tune into the Actor and NBCTA YouTube channel for more industry tips about the acting world.